It's Thursday, and hope that I see everyone at church tonight. We've been studying how different people responded to death in the Bible. And I want to do one more this week. One that maybe you didn't think about. One that you never really considered actually did face death. The death of a loved one that they loved dearly. And that's God. God had to face death. In Hebrews in chapter number 4 and in verse number 15, let me read this verse to you real quick. Hebrews 4 and verse number 15. The Bible says this. It says, For we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted like as we are, yet without sin. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. According to this passage of Scripture, there's not nothing that we will ever feel or go through that the Lord does not understand, including death. You say, well, I don't understand. It's God. He's eternal life. Let's all go all the way back to the Garden of Eden. God told Adam and Eve that the day that you eat of this fruit, ye shall surely die. We kind of think of death almost one-dimensional and just a physical death, but to God, whose means are way beyond ours, he sees things in a different light. And The day that they ate it, they spiritually died. That was his creation. That was his child. The day that they ate it, they died. You know, the saying simply goes like this, the more someone is loved, the harder it is to lose them. And that's a true statement. And no one ever loved man like God loves man. But his response is perfect. God's response to death is absolutely perfection. And I want you to consider a couple of things and how we can apply it when we face death. God knew that man would sin. That wasn't a surprise to him. So he made a plan. He made a provision to overcome the sting and the power of death. Before he ever formed man, Revelation 13 says that Jesus was the lamb slain before the foundation of the world. So my first point is this that God handled death right and that he was perfectly prepared. He knew it was coming. His son, and he planned, of course, Jesus planned to die and to destroy the power of death and to comfort those who mourn. But my point is this, that we too must prepare for death. If we live our life trying to avoid it, if we live our life trying to ignore it, if we live our life thinking, well, it had never happened to me or the people I love, you're being a fool. Even God himself prepared for death. We have to prepare for this appointment. The Bible says it is appointed unto men once to die. Many people fear this. They live in fear of loss, like it will never happen. And you have to settle in your mind that death is coming. Death will happen. So he was perfectly prepared for death. He had it already known it's coming. And one thing that has helped me, I'm just speaking personally, in my having lost loved ones, is having this understanding that it's not a surprise when people die. Now, some we don't see coming at that time, but death happens to everyone. And I have to prepare myself for this, to know that every morning when I get up, not that I'm not going to grieve, not that I'm not going to mourn when this happens, but it doesn't shock me and throw my life upside down. I understand that death is coming. That's a biblical fact. God was perfectly prepared, and he made a perfect provision. Jesus conquered death through his Son. The Holy Spirit is our comforter. I mean, it's as if God said, all right, I know death is real, so I'm going to conquer death through my Son, 
And then I'm going to send my the Spirit to give comfort to those who grieve. That's a great God. Our God understands and he's given us everything we need to overcome this. We have that comfort of the Lord. In John chapter number 13 and in verse number 17, let me read this real quick. John 13, 17 says, If ye know these things, happy are ye if ye do them. Now, Jesus said, all right, now, what is he talking about? These things. In these chapters, 13, 14, 15, etc., he is preparing his disciples. He keeps saying, I am going to die. And so he was preparing them for what they were going to face. He was giving them in the word of God everything that they would need to deal with his death. My friends, we have everything we need in the word of God. We have a perfect provision to how to handle death. The Lord prayed for the disciples. He comforted the disciples and saying, you're going to face death, but it's going to be okay. God handled death perfectly. And the fact that he was perfectly prepared for it, and he gave us a perfect provision. There's one more. We'll wrap this up tomorrow.